This is exactly how you stop your dog from jumping up people in as quick as just one day. Now, as a canine behaviorist, I've helped literally thousands of people with a variety of behaviors, one of the most common being a dog that jumps up people when they meet them. Yes, it might have been cute when they were eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, but now you've got a full-size golden retriever or a Labrador or a German Shepherd, even Jack Russells can be a nightmare if they're jumping up everyone that they meet it means visitors won't want to come to your house it means you shouldn't be taking them out in public if they're a liability even if it's just getting muddy paws up their trousers jumping up can go from annoying to incredibly dangerous and regardless of where it fits on that spectrum it is absolutely something that you should be working on immediately now here at my canine training center it is something that people bring their dogs to us for all the time and i want to break down the steps that we follow to help them get on top of jumping which should mean that you can get on top of jumping yourself at home now the first thing we do with all of our behavior cases is a thorough diagnosis of the dog you don't need to go into the detail that we do but we want to know the motivational state of the dog the emotional state of the dog characteristics temperament testing so that we have a thorough understanding of who the dog is and why they're doing the behavior that they're doing the vast majority of dogs however jump up because they love people so much and that they think or have learned that jumping up people gets them attention and gets strokes, praise and fuss. So once we know exactly what's happening and exactly what we're dealing with, we can then move into our training program and get to work. Now, again, most commonly, it is exactly that issue that we're talking about. And obviously, we don't want to change a dog like that. We want that dog to remain loving, happy, unfearful and excited to see other people however we have to change the behavior of them jumping up people to get that praise and to get that attention this is what we might refer to as operant counter conditioning and we have developed a special system of operant counter conditioning that allows it to work incredibly well for all of our clients now that is some fancy behavior and training words but essentially what it means is that the dog sees a trigger which is a person that it wants attention from and rather than going there's a person i want attention from if i jump up that person i will get attention we need to switch that to think there is a person i want attention from if i sit wait patiently i will get attention from them that requires a few steps to achieve it but it's very very doable the first step is that we interrupt the jumping behavior the quickest way to do this is to utilize something like a slip lead which is the most common piece of equipment that we use here at the center for this process it needs to be fitted properly and it needs to be used properly so that we use it in no other terms than just a quick interruption just a quick tap tap to let them know hey buddy we can't do that then we quickly redirect them to the behavior that we do want from them which is to sit and wait quietly if the dog doesn't know how to sit we have to go back and teach that first but then when they are sitting we make them wait for a second then they get the praise and the attention that they were looking for once that goes well we then move it to a couple of seconds to a few seconds what we usually see through this process is a dog will try to jump it will get quickly interrupted redirected into the sit and then gets rewarded over a few repetitions the dog will go hmm i usually jump here but that hasn't worked for me the last few times i might sit instead when they sit they get a big jackpot reward we go in with treats we go in with toys we go in with lots of praise and attention to really drive home that message of that's exactly what we want if you sit you are going to get what you want and we repeat this and we practice this over and over again sometimes the dog will take a little bit of a step back or we have to go back to interrupting the behavior some dogs it learns really quickly and you only ever need to interrupt it two or three times and then they sit every time moving forward but once we get them to sitting in that behavior it's incredibly important that that owner and every person in that dog's life is consistent with this moving forward that's what lets us have success long term not just short term when they're with me and my team of trainers who are experts in handling this we build that foundation for people we do the legwork of that operant counter conditioning but then it's incredibly important that the owner you get on board with this process continue the work moving forward and you will get to a point where every time that dog sees somebody that they want praise from they want attention from they want to play with that they will sit and wait patiently for it however if you let them get away with jumping up just once that old behavior pathway will come right back and they'll go straight back to that easier way of getting what they want so consistency is key